What is the next topic? Will uh, continue on the, with that, or talk about the uh, meeting we're having next Monday? Sure, I think. Because uh, that, it's, it, it's, all, it's all focused on on the book. Because the whole idea of talking freedom is to teach people how to defeat the buggers. Okay, sure thing. And uh, so I've got the example of the challenge, and so I've already spoken them about consent, but. Uh, but now, it's obvious that they do not have jurisdiction because you haven't given your consent. So what do you do then? So what you do then is challenge the jurisdiction of the court. Well, one of the things I particularly appreciate about you, John, is the fact that you're a go-getter and you do organise events. You're not just active online, although that's obviously a big part of it. But you, uh, you do have an event coming up next week. Today's Monday the 19th of September and you have an event in Sydney on Monday the 26th of September in the evening. That's right. Yeah. So can you give the uh, listeners and viewers some information about where, where the event is being held, what they can expect, the types of topics that will be getting discussed? Yeah, it's going to be held at the uh, Club Parramatta, which is the home for the RSL in Parramatta. So uh, we'll be using their facilities and it's, it's, it's quite free, I don't, I don't charge for coming there. So what I want to do there is continue the education thing based upon uh, the book because the book says very clearly that uh, we've got jackals of slavery and how to defeat them. So it's a, it's sort of a, a, a teaching of common law and how to go about it because uh, unless the court receives uh, consent to proceed summarily, all the judgments from magistrates and judges are all worthless. And so you say, no, I've got the inalienable right to trial by jury in any action. It doesn't matter if it's the family court or the uh, local court, any court at all. You must have a jury unless you, you get consent otherwise. So. When you say, no, I've got the right to trial by jury in this case, and then the judge says, no, you haven't got that right, okay? And then you must challenge the jurisdiction of the court. And I've got to teach people how to, this is a legal procedure, internationally recognised, so once you challenge the jurisdiction of the court, the proceedings are stayed, stopped, immediately, absolutely, until the jurisdiction is decided by a jury. And so what you put in is a challenge to the jurisdiction of the court. It's a very simple document. All you do is stand up, you look at this magistrate or this judge and say, OK, then I challenge the jurisdiction of the court. And you do that orally with your mouth, and then you do, do it in written form. You, you produce all the, the grounds for the challenge. And those grounds are determined by a jury who will decide if this case should go to a, a jury or it can be left with the judge. And, and, be, and my experiences have been that, no, you come a, a cropper, you come foul, uh, because the judges know that they're frauds, they know their appointments are illegal, they don't want to become exposed, they're protecting the banks, the banks are the biggest villains of all time, and you'll get nowhere. People will get frustrated. They, they kept running around chasing their tails. You've got to stop this merry-go-round which they've put in place with a very simple procedure of challenging the jurisdiction of the court and then you lay it down on the table exactly how uh, your case should be conducted where you are talking to your equals because we are all equals. It's, uh, a fair society is built upon uh, equality and we do not have any uh, lord and master that we've got to bow and kowtow to and they decide with, if they'll accept the evidence. No, no. The admissible, admissibility of evidence is down to a jury when you have trial by jury, not a judge. But the judges take control. They are oppressive, they are tyrants. I think we've got to put an end to that. Fair enough having judges there, but only in the presence of a judge. And his job is to ensure a fair trial. But, but when they step in and deny you your rights, this is where it's all out the window. We've lost uh, our civilization. we've lost justice. And the role, the role of the sheriffs is to protect that right. The sheriffs are actually the guardians of the court. They ensure that everything is con conducted 
fairly, that people could access their rights, and done in safety. That's the role of the sheriff, the real role. The sheriffs are not there to carry out the orders of these tyrants. Can't be done. So that is one of the key issues or topics you'll be discussing next Monday, the 26th of September, at Club Parramatta. Yeah, and how to. And I've got all this information on the new website. We've got a new website called juriesarrest.com.au and all the information is there. I've got videos uh, such as you've kindly done before and other videos and leaflets and information. But the whole idea is to educate uh, and teach people. I'll start off with a short uh, spiel, just about 20 minutes or so, and then it's open for discussion. Talking, we're talking freedom. And I hope to have people there uh, to express themselves and to learn at the same time. And uh, I, I've done this before in the past, but now uh, because it's, it's almost a crisis. It's a, a new world opening up to us because we have got to face our reality for the next thousand years. It says there, uh, corruption or a thousand years of, of paradise. That's what it says and that's what we've got to face up to. So next Monday, 26th of September, 7.30pm at Club Parramatta in Sydney and it's a free event. Of course.